Hey, welcome in. You're listening to the daily version of the Corland Economics Report. I'm Al Corland. Appreciate you joining me. This particular program is being produced exclusively for my friends at Kitco. We went a remote with my buddy Trader Raj. Raj is up in Vancouver, British Columbia right now, where I was yesterday. Looking at the markets today, we both have some fairly strong opinions as to what's going on. Gold closed above 14 bucks an ounce. Silver closed actually up over a dollar an ounce today, which uh, made me pretty, pretty happy. I listened to Dr. Bernanke's press conference today, and I have to say that I think a lot of the things that he said made sense. Why do I say that? They relate directly to what I feel are the fundamental reasons to buy gold right now. You know, I wrote an article for Kitco back in 2006 where I talked about gold being in a perfect storm when the price of gold was somewhere around eight or $900 an ounce. Now gold is trading above $1,700 an ounce, and I would say the storm is even stronger simply for the following reasons. Number one, continued turmoil in the Middle East. Look what happened today. Israel is now threatening to attack Iran. Iran is saying, you do that, we're going to come back and you're going to regret it, etc., etc. Look at the situation in Europe. Will Greece ever become solvent again? I kind of don't think so, based on an article I read in the Irish Times today. Look at the United States. The Fed lowered the expectations uh, that they had for growth rates for next year rather substantially today. Ben Bernanke came out and said, yes, we have a real problem here. Boy, if you don't need any more fundamental reasons on that to purchase gold, I don't know what you're going to do. Raj, from a technical standpoint, what do you think is going on, buddy? Well, the, the the gold today did pretty much what we expected on our forecast. Today was the C wave of the, of the correction, the small correction, the ABC normal correction after a full five wave up. Tomorrow, which would be either a sideways undecided day on Thursday and or it could be wave one of a new five wave cycle going higher. The trend is higher. We're looking at tomorrow being November 3rd. From November 3rd until roughly the 18th, we should be on the upside for gold and silver and other related shares. The reason for that is is the timing of the cycle and also the sale of the December gold and silver options, which is going to hit on the 18th of November. They are December contracts, but they do expire on the 18th of November. Thereafter is a holiday. So I'm looking for some good buying in gold and silver physically and in the futures and in the beginnings of the shares moving higher over the next five to 10 trading days. Okay, there you have it technical reasons in uh, Roger's opinion to buy, fundamental reasons in Big Al's opinion to buy. What do you guys think? 